A new small patch has been released for Cyberpunk 2077. Patch 1.31 doesn't do a massive amount of things in terms of major game fixes. Just some small bug squashing and some other stuff that I'll go over momentarily. Because this is a small patch and not a major 1.4 release, I'm not doing a video of me actually trying the game out, as usual, because it'll inevitably be uh, basically the exact same in terms of performance. If I'm wrong, somebody feel free to scream at me and say, nah, -uh, they are massive improvements. Anyway. Uh, these are some of the highlights, and I'll throw up the entire patch notes in the background in case you want to pause and read something that catches your eye. After upgrading an item with a quest tag, the original base item is now removed from your inventory. The charge jump now results in V attaining the correct height. After purchasing the rock poke, you will no longer get stuck in a falling animation after a bike crash. That's a good one. Oh my god, I love that one. Uh, next up is a whole bunch of quest-specific bug fixes. I'm not going through every one, they're up there in the background for your perusal. Under the visual section of the patch notes, the first entry tells us that roads will now actually look wet again after rain. Apparently this was due to, quote, ongoing work on the wet surfaces system, end quote. Uh, wet objects and roads and shit now allegedly look better and more detailed than ever before. Thank god. That's a real game changer right there. Let's see, what else is worth mentioning here? Firing with a tech weapon could sometimes result in a blinding light that's been fixed. Good to see they're avoiding another potential epilepsy controversy. Overheat and short circuit quick hack tooltips have their descriptions added back in. And anybody who couldn't redeem any of those highly coveted in-game registration reward items, your time has come at last. The error message, a network error has occurred. Please try again later, preventing the item redemption has been fixed. And last, but not least, PlayStation consoles get some more delicious GPU memory optimization. And it sure as shit ain't gonna be the last bit of anything optimization this game will get. That's it folks, an extremely short list of bug fixes this time around, at least compared to the recent Bible length patch note CDPR I've been dishing out. And while I haven't downloaded it yet, and uh, knowing full well it's not a massive fix, Due to the way console patching works, I can anticipate at least a 20 gigabyte download size. In fact, hold on, let me, let me let me check the actual size on the PlayStation 4 quickly. Yep, it's 22 gigabytes, almost 23. In fact, uh, I'm spending a lot of data on this game, <laughs> and <laughs> I'm not any time playing it. <laughs> uh, the cycle of Cyberpunk 2077 on base PS4 for me, at least, is waiting for a major patch. Checking out runs, or if it's improved noticeably in any capacity, and if it hasn't improved much, I forget about it until the next major patch comes. Sashaying around the corner of the grocery store, clutching a dozen paper bags with a hopeful grin on its face. Until the next video, I have roughly 3,000 talent books to obtain in Genshin Impact. God help me.